We're starting. I think we're on. Yep. We're on. How exciting. So excited to get started with our balloon workshop. So it hasn't come up yet. That's so great because she has to play it as well. Okay. <laughs> no one's gonna know that I'm dancing with you behind it, so you're just gonna look really weird. <laughs> Four watches. Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so excited to have everyone. My name is Jody. I've come here on behalf of um, the Shara Garden Art. So thank you very much to that team for having us along to do the balloon workshop today. Um, just while we're waiting for a couple of minutes for everyone to join us. Um, if you can give us a shout out, give us a thumbs up and let you know, let us know that you're there. Dancing with you and they love the energy. <laughs> Fantastic, it's so good. Um, send your comments through, send your questions through, we'll answer them as we go the best that we possibly can. Um, while we're waiting, is there something that you guys would like to see me make? You can give me anything at all, we can have superheroes, something scary, um, uh, something pretty, an animal. If you've got something you'd like to see made, just while we're waiting on everyone else to log in and get connected, send us a comment through. That would be really good. So we'll go through a few things today. We'll have the um, how to blow up your balloons, how long they should last. We'll talk a little bit about how balloons are made as well and what to do with them at the end of the workshop because you'll have all these balloons everywhere. They're asking for a dragon. A dragon, awesome. What color dragon? Or a dinosaur. Okay, either or, what color? Dinosaur. Doesn't matter, okay, let's see what we've got here. A young girl named Grace would like a puppy. A puppy, well we'll start with the dragon and see how much time we've got, Grace. Hey guys, Techie here. How's the volume going? <laughs> Let us know how the volume is, guys. If I need to be louder or softer, if I need to go faster or slower. So I'm going to make you guys a dragon. There we go. Now you have to tell me, is it going to be a fire-breathing dragon? Are we going to have a fire-breathing dragon or a normal dragon? Okay, so that's our... They're all saying everything's great. Everything's great. That's our first start. God, this is really weird. Because <laughs> okay, the video is behind you. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our next balloon. So this is two balloons now. We're going to make them dry again. I should have bought my headphones. Someone asked for a unicorn. A unicorn! unicorn and a kangaroo. Against cake. Oh my and goodness. you got a kangaroo. And a kangaroo. Alright, we've got quite a bit of a list there, guys. We'll see how we go for time. people okay and the 
One thing a balloon artist always carries with them is going to be a pair of scissors. Sorry about the pop dice. And we're halfway there with our dragon now. Can you see it starting to take shape? We're missing something, we're missing something kind of important. Some legs, we need legs. Okay, let's make some legs. Let's have some yellow legs. Gabby's asking, what do we do with our balloons once we've finished with them? Awesome. Well, your balloons are actually made from latex. So they're made from the rubber, from a rubber tree. And when you've finished with your balloons, there's two things you can do. Firstly, you can pin them and bin them, or you can put them in your compost. Um, and we do put them in our compost. You can see to my right here that we have Marshmallow, the bunny. Marshmallow is one of our costumes and uh, Marshmallow uses around uh, 1,200 balloons when we put it together and uh, we were able to, lucky enough to take him for a walk over Easter and be able to hand out some Easter eggs. And when we're finished, uh, Marshmallow will go into our compost bin as well. So you can compost your balloons. Um, as a business, we're part of the um, balloon environment, sorry, the... <laughs> Wow, I'm getting the name wrong. P-E-B-A is the, uh, you can have a look at it on uh, Facebook yourselves. Pro Environmental Balloon Alliance is the words I was looking for. And, um, and so we believe in protecting our environment as much as keeping balloons alive to keep, make everybody happy. And that's what balloons do is they share joy and they share love. So please do, don't just throw your balloons out. Don't leave them out on the ground. Lid is not good for anybody, but uh, we certainly encourage you, you can compost them or pin them and bin them at the end. Now most of your balloons will last for maybe upwards of a week if, um, if they're fairly well looked after, but balloons do pop, that's part of what they do. And we're coming to the end now of our dragon. We just need a couple of other things, let's have a look. We're going to need some wings, so we're just gonna put some wings on here. Annette would like a fish. A fish for Annette. Oh, we have a very big list here, guys. We'll see how we go. All right. So can you see I'm using a different um, size balloon here? So balloon twisters use lots of different sizes of balloons, different shapes. Um, there's all sorts of different ones that we use to get different looks. Okay, so now we have some wings on our dragon. So we have wings, we have legs, we have spikes. We're missing something. Can anyone tell me what we might be missing? Anyone know what we might be missing? Kylie says our bunny is awesome. Our bunny is awesome. Thank you so much, Kylie. Oh, really cool. <laughs> Same thing. Artistic interpretation by tech, apparently, today, guys. We needed some eyes, is what we were looking for for our... Tristan says teeth. Teeth? Oh, we do need teeth. Well done, Tristan. Thank you. And not forget his scary teeth. We now have some eyes on here. There we go. And we do need some scary teeth, you're absolutely right. And after our teeth, we've got one more thing that we're missing. Anyone tell me what that one more thing might be? You got any guesses on there? I've got to catch up. <laughs> Fire. Fire, absolutely right, Jolene. Well done. Or from Lockie. <laughs> from Lockie? <laughs> we do need the fire, that's absolutely right. Alright. 
So let's do some fire. Oops. It's trying to fly away on me. That's not very helpful. There we go. Sometimes using these smaller balloons can be just a little bit tricky. Done. Ruth said, I missed the start. What are you making? We're making a fire breathing dragon, Ruth. And we're nearly finished our dragon now. Make sure everything's going the right direction. Get some eyes drawn on there. Right. Got green eyes as well for our green dragon today. Make sure everything's on. Kylie says it looks cool. There we go, guys. There is our fly, fire breathing flying dragon coming whoop, <laughs> at you. Okay, so if you guys can give me a thumbs up and let you know, let me know you're ready to start with the workshop, that would be great. And we'll get started. We just got a comment from Emma about it asking if we're going to show a step by step on how to make something. Absolutely, so. <laughs> we are just about to do that. That's fantastic. Okay, so you guys are all ready to go. So if you got the pack from the um, Shire of Dardana, you should have got in there some latex balloons. They're what we call a 260, okay? Um, they should be long, skinny balloons. And you should have got a balloon pump. So I'll just bring those a bit closer. So that's, you should have about 25 of, of your um, Q, 260 Qs and a balloon pump. So has everybody got those? Make sure we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, now I know some of you have already blown up your balloons, but we'll go through this step by step just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to blow up our balloons. So what you'll do is you'll take the nozzle end of your balloon and we're going to slide the nozzle. We're going to slide that nozzle. Do it that way for you. Slide the nozzle onto the end of the pump. If you hold on to it with your thumb and your forefinger, that's going to stop the balloon from flying off. Hold on to it nice and tight. And then pump the balloon up. Now you never want to blow your balloons all the way up. Oops. You want to leave a bit of a tail on the end. Okay. And for almost all the balloons that we use today, there'll be a tail of around two fingers or about a centimeter. For one of our balloons, we only need it about halfway, okay? But we'll talk you through that as we go each time. So for our very first balloon, you want a tail of about two fingers. Okay, that's about two fingers. Now to tie our balloon, I'm hoping you guys can see this. When we go to tie a balloon, we always come a little bit in and then grab our balloon. And the reason we do that is we're actually going to burp it. Now I like to hold and just twist it a little. 
So you can see there's a little twist in there and it just stops all the extra air coming out. And I'm just going to escape that. It's called burping the balloon and it just makes it a little bit more flexible. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab that nozzle. And you can see there's quite a bit of stretch in there. Okay, we're going to roll that around two fingers. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone with us? Sorry about the technical hitch, guys. So again, grabbing that nozzle, giving it a really good stretch over two fingers and in through the middle okay so I'll do that again for you guys so we're going to give it a stretch go over two fingers and we're going to push it up through the middle and then just slide our fingers out and there's our nozzle That's not unusual. That's just the air coming back up. Back up. Okay, so we should have a tied balloon. Has everybody, got, everyone got a tied balloon? How are we going? We're good? I think we're good. All right. Give us a love heart. Make sure that everyone's ready. And we'll move on from there. All right. Whenever we twist balloons, we always... Start from our knotty end, all right? So find your snotty end, all right? We have a snotty end and we have a floppy end. So we want to start with our snotty end. Always find your snotty end. So if you can hold your balloon in a U shape. All right, so hold your balloon in a U. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cross the ends. All right, so we're just crossing those ends. Now, I should explain, one of your hands is a twisting hand. That's going to do all the hard work. And one of your hands is a holding hand. It's just going to hold the balloons. It doesn't matter which hand is which. It's completely up to you, okay? But it's important to know. So what we're going to do is cross those balloons. And our holding hand is going to hold where the cross is. Can you guys see that? And squeeze. So we're going to hold and squeeze and then our twisting hand is going to twist those two ends around at least three times. Probably four is great. And we should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Okay. It could be a hat. It could be a mirror. It could be a toilet seat. No, we won't use it as a toilet seat. Okay, once you have something like this, what we're going to get you guys to do is we're going to get you to put your circle on the floor. And I'd like you to step into it, two feet in. Okay? Can we see that? Uh, nope. Ooh. Balloons do burst. If your balloons don't burst... Um, yeah, we'll probably give you a refund, but the balloons do best. We'll do that one more time, just super quickly. So we have a comment from Hamid. I apologize if I got that wrong, saying that uh, the kids are loving the background. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much. All right. So again, we just crossed our balloon, gave it a squeeze, twisting hand did the twisting. And we're going to now put our loop on the ground. Okay, two feet in. Can you see our two feet in? Yep, awesome. Grab your balloon and wiggle it up. Now, my balloon's not quite big enough for me, but if you're a bit littler than me, you should be able to wiggle it up all the way to your waist. And you're going to use it as a belt. So leave it on your waist, guys. Oh, I got the name right. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So we should all have a balloon belt. And that's our first one done. Fantastic. You guys are doing so well. Let's make it a little bit harder now. Are you ready to go? Give us a smiley face if you're ready to go. <laughs> Waiting for it to catch up. Okay. We've got some smiley faces. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> 
apologize guys there's a little bit of a lag between um, the video I'm taking and it's showing up online and so between myself and the technical advisor bear with us this is a first for us so we really appreciate you being um, a little bit patient with us today as well <laughs> all right we got smiley faces we got smiley faces <laughs> excellent so we're going to take another balloon you need one a new balloon we're going to blow up our new balloon And again, we want a floppy bit, remember, of about two fingers. I'll bring that a bit closer for you. So two fingers. Okay. We burp the balloon the same as we did last time. Stretch it over two fingers, up through the middle, and there's our knot. Okay. So I'm hoping you guys know, remember which where we start with a balloon. Do we start with a knotty end or a floppy end? A snotty end or a floppy end? They're just saying it now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So we should have lots of... Knotty end, guys, or a floppy end? What do you think? Always start with your snotty end, guys. Always, always start with the snotty end. And the reason we start with the snotty end is when we start moving the balloon, we're going to be pushing the out air into this gap as well. Okay, so that's why we start with the snotty end. Okay, so hold your balloon. We're going to come in about oh, two centimetres or an inch if you prefer inches. I'll come just a little bit closer for you guys. And again, our holding hand is going to hold and squeeze. And our twisting hand is going to twist that around. One, two, three, and four. Now, don't let go. If you're lucky, it might hold. But if you're not lucky, it will come undone. So don't let go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so now we have this. Our next step is to take our long piece and we're going to bend it into a loop. Okay, so we're taking the long bit. We're going to bend it. So fold and then we're going to hold. Okay, so I'll go this way for you. All right, so we went bending the long bit. Folding, holding, give it a squeeze with your holding hand, and then your twisting hand is going to twist that loop, and again, about four. So we should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. We good? Yeah. All right, fantastic. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in a little bit from our knot. So we're a little bit from this joint. We're coming down just a little bit further here. Again, our holding hand is going to hold. Our twisting hand is going to do the work. And it's going to roll that long bit. All right? So we're rolling it. So we have a bubble. So we have one bubble. And then we're going to, this might take a bit of help from an adult. Slow down. And we're going to come in one more bubble. Okay. It's a bit tricky here because we need, it's almost like you need some extra hands. So if you've got someone to give you some extra hands, that's great. So if you come in a little bit further. Um, so we're getting a request if you could uh, repeat the bendy loop bit. I certainly can, absolutely. We'll come back. Just while I'm untwisting this, the balloon, if you got the packs, the balloons you've been given are Qualitex balloons. They are the best balloons in the balloon industry. The reason we sent those packs out the way we did um, is because you can untwist them the way that I just have. So if you are going to Kmart or somewhere like that and getting some cheap balloons that you can um, practice with at home, you're certainly more than welcome to do that. Just please be aware that they probably won't have the forgiveness of your Qualitex balloons. So underfill them, so more floppy bit and less air, um, and they probably won't allow you to untwist them the way that I've been doing today. Okay, so we have our first bubble. 
we're going to fold into a loop. Okay, so it's our long bit is being folded into a loop. So we're going to fold and hold. Our holding hand is just holding those together. And we're going to squish. And then our twisting hand is going to twist that loop. So fold, hold and twist. Did we get everybody? Yep, cool. Okay, so the same way that we made that first bubble, we're going to make another one. We come in just a little bit here. Again, about two centimeters or so. Kylie says, thank you for the information. <laughs> Too easy. Um, okay, so we're gonna come in a little bit. Our holding hand again is gonna hold and squish. And our twisting hand is again going to do the twisting. So we end up with a bubble. Okay, so we have a bubble, a loop, and, and then another bubble. And then what we're going to do is add another bubble. Okay, so this is the bit I was saying that if you have an extra pair of hands that can help you, you might need that. But we're going to have two bubbles. So again, my holding hand holds and squishes, and my twisting hand twists around. So now we have two bubbles. Hello, Melanie. Hi, Melanie. Okay. So we have two bubbles now. And now the tricky bit, we're going to do a third bubble. Okay. So come in one more time. Holding hand is going to hold and squish. Twisting hand is going to twist. So we end up with three bubbles. Hold there for a bit. Okay. So we've got three bubbles now. Just while everybody's catching up, I do want to talk a little bit about safety as well with your balloons. Um, with your, it doesn't matter what sort of balloon it is, whether it's a latex balloon, a, a plastic balloon, they do exist, um, or foil balloons, don't put them in your mouth. It's super important. Um, if you're looking at balloons with helium in them, um, it's really important that you don't put helium, suck on the helium in the balloons. It's really, really dangerous. Um, and can make you very sick later on um, later on in life as well. So it's really important whether you have helium or whether you have air filled, we don't put balloons in our mouths. Okay, guys? So it's just something to, to be aware of. Um, cool, we all caught up? Excellent. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take our long piece and we're going to push our long piece straight through the hole. And you can straighten it a little bit. Just remember, Mum and Dad, this is a kids' show, okay? All right, so here we go. We've got, so what we should have now is a sword. If you have someone who's with you, then you can do sword fights. And you really should. You should always test your sword to make sure that it's not broken. We want to make sure that it works. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm actually going to ask my um, tech assistant to come up and join me for a second and we're going to test this sword and make sure that it works. We don't want a broken sword. There we go, Miss Tech Advisor. And I'm just going to make myself a sword as well. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Unfair fight. Unfair fight. <laughs> okay, here we go. Push it all the way through with the last step, straighten them up, and there we go, we have a balloon sword. <laughs> Not sure who won that fight. Now, you should still have your belt on around your waist, and the wonderful thing about your belt is now you have somewhere to put your sword. So you can put your sword straight in your belt, and it will sit on your belt, and that will give you free hands to then make the next one. How are we going guys, are we good? We've got thumbs up. Just coming to the end of that now. <laughs> All right, when you're ready to move on, give us a thumbs up guys, and we'll move on to the next one. While you guys are just catching up, I'm gonna grab a quick drink. Yeah, remember, stay hydrated. 
Yes, please stay hydrated. <laughs> Give your hands a bit of a shake. Your arms a bit of a shake. Loosen all your muscles up. And we're nearly ready to go again. Okay, we've got thumbs up. Excellent. So we're going to need another balloon. Grab your balloon. Now, I mentioned earlier that we needed a balloon that was only about half blown up. And this is that balloon. So, same process as before when you're blowing up your balloon. So, I'll bring that forward. This is a little over halfway, but it's pretty close. Um, for me, it's a hand and a thumb. Okay. But quite a nice long tail, so a nice long floppy bit. Excellent. And we're going to tie our balloon the same way we did. So we spurt it, stretch the neck over the fingers, up the middle, and there we go. Okay. All right. So now we have a balloon with a really long floppy bit. Now. If you could please give me a, um, a smiley face if we start at the knotty end and a winky face if we start with the floppy end. Who remembers which end we start with? Knotty end or floppy end? So a smiley face for the knotty end and a winky face for the floppy end. How are we going? We got some smiles. Smiles, naughty end, excellent, fantastic. You guys are so good. Okay, so are we ready? We always start with our naughty end. Now, because you were so good with the sword, we're gonna keep that going and I think you guys are gonna be fantastic. So we're going to come in again, same, our um, holding hand is gonna hold, our twisting hand twists. We come in again a little bit, probably, Again, around that two centimetres, a little bit of a small bubble there. Mm -hmm. Just making sure that so everyone can see that. So our holding hand holds and squeezes, and our twisting hand does the twist. So we've got that nice little bubble there. Okay, fantastic. We have a message <laughs> requesting that we don't use pink. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, didn't think about it when I picked it up, guys. All right, so the next part, next thing we're going to do is the same loop that you did before. So if you remember on the sword that we folded the long bit, so we're going to fold and hold, okay? All right, so we're going to fold it and hold it. So again, we're only wanting a little loop this time, so it's not as big as the last one. All right. Oops. Again, don't let go, it will come undone. So fold it, hold it, and the twisting hand twists it. So again, we should have something that looks a little bit like that. Oh, put the balloon sideways. <laughs> Apologies for the <laughs> Okay, so here we go. And then once we've got to that bit, we're going to repeat that process again. We're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're coming in just a little bit. Hello, Inca and and oh, Sorry, having a mouth. Blah, blah, blah. Angelia, I hope. I apologize Inca if I said Angelia, them wrong. Angelia, thank you guys for joining us. I'm so happy to see you guys. We apologize for any mispronunciations. Okay, so we're coming in again, that little centimeter. Give it a squeeze and roll. Okay, so we have one bubble, a loop, and another bubble. And then exactly the same that you've just done with making that loop, we're going to do the same thing again. So, we're going to fold it and hold it. Just coming forward a little bit further for you guys to see that. So, we're going to fold the long bit and hold it. And then we twist that loop. Okay, you may need to adjust where they're sitting to make sure that you have that shape. OK, 
Cool, we're all caught up. Okay, so this time what we need is a longer bubble because this is the body. This is the body of what we're making. So we need a bit of a longer one. So to get the same process, find your spot, give it a squeeze with your holding hand. Okay, hold and squeeze and then your twisting hand does the twisting bit. And then we have another loop, okay? So we're gonna fo fold it, hold it, squeeze and twist. So we should have a bubble, a loop, a bubble, a loop, a long bubble, a loop, and a tiny bit. And if you're like me and you have a nice long floppy bit at the end, what we can do is choose about half the amount of air, give it a good squeeze with our holding hand, and our twisting hand is going to push. Push, and if you stretch your balloon and push the air up, and now we have a poodle. Cool, has everyone got our poodle? Awesome job, guys. You guys are powering along. Are you ready to make it harder? Ready to go harder again? Give me a big love heart. Give it a few. <laughs> <laughs> nice big love heart. Again, I'm just gonna grab a drink while you guys are, while the video is catching up. Okay. Don't forget to stretch. Yes, give yourselves a stretch. Floppy hands, nice floppy muscles. Okay. Give us a nice big love heart, we're ready to go again. Fantastic. Okay. We're gonna make it harder. You guys ready to make it harder? I'm sure you are. You've done such a good job today. This time we're going to need two balloons. So we're gonna make it harder. Here we go, let's block our two balloons. Any colors that you like. Color doesn't really matter. Okay, and the same with the, um, the sword that we made and also with the uh, belt that we made earlier, about two fingers, about two fingers at the end, okay? Remember that we um, twist that little bubble at the beginning, give it a burp before we tie it off. So that's one balloon and I'm going to come and grab a second balloon and look. What colour haven't I used yet today? Purple. Purple. Let's see if I've got a purple in here. There we go. We have a purple. Blue and purple. Good colour scheme. Okay. Same again. About two, fi whoop, about two fingers at the end. Fantastic. Burp it. And tie it off. So we have our two balloons. All right. Here's a smiley face to show me that you've got your two balloons ready to go. And then we'll go from there. All right, you can pick either one of your two balloons. It doesn't matter which one. Okay, so, <coughs> oh man, talking too much. All right, so what we're going to do this time with our balloons, oh, it's had one burst. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter how long you've been doing balloon art, I promise balloons still pop. They pop for everybody. And they make everyone jump too. They do, they do make everyone jump. All right, let's blow that up again. Bit of a tail, right. That's really weird to watch right back to me. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is the same as we did with our loop or our toilet seat at the very first, at the very beginning. So we're going to cross our balloons over. We're going to cross them over. Hopefully you guys can see that. And where they cross, our holding hand is going to hold and squeeze. And our twisting hand twists the two ends around. So again, we have something that could be a hat. It could be a pretty mirror, 
and I'm sure you guys can come up with some other ideas of what it could be as well. But this is what we need. Okay, once we are at this point, we're going to squish our balloon so it's nice and straight. All right, so squish your balloon so it's nice and straight. Make sure you can see that. We're going to come about a third of the way up from the bottom. So we'll just come in a little bit closer for you guys. Come in about a third of the way up from the bottom. And that's where our holding hand's going to hold. Whoops, there we go. And squish. Same as we did with the puppy dog and the sword and the loops. So we're holding and squishing with our holding hand and we're twisting with our twisting hand. There we go. So we should end up with something that looks like a really weird figure eight. We've got that? Okay. So now here's the super tricky bit. We're going to take the middle, so that middle join, and we're going to squish it down. All right, so I'm holding at the very top of that join, and I'm going to squish them down together. Okay? And when we squish them down together, my holding hand is going to hold one of those loops on this side, and my twisting hand is going to twist the other loop. Okay? And we end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Okay, I'm going to pump up another balloon and do that again for you guys. Um, we'll make it white. White. We haven't had a white yet today. Let's have a white one. Okay, so again, we crossed it. When you get to the down bit... Um, just slow down and try and show it a bit more. I know that's difficult. Okay, but so we got to one third up from the bottom. One third up from the bottom and then we twisted. So we had that loop. There we go. So we have our weird figure eight now. Okay, and this was the tricky bit. So my, my twisting hand is holding up the top where our, um, our little two first bubbles are crossed over. So I'm holding here, okay, I'm also holding um, our, our loop join, and I'm going to push the top down to the bottom, okay, so I'm grabbing the top, I'm grabbing the bottom, and I'm squishing them together, okay, as I squish them together, okay, you've noticed that I've actually changed where my hand is sitting, so I'm actually sitting underneath that bottom, so as I squish them together, my holding hand is going to hold this loop on the left, or what's my left. To the bottom one. Okay. And then my right, my twisting hand is going to twist this other loop. So just twist it around and around and around like you did for the, for the dog and the sword. And you might need to just keep twisting a little bit to make it sit, pr sit prettily. Okay. But that's how that one's going to sit. Okay? So now that we have this, the next bit we need is our other balloon. Now, you should see, and I'll bring this as close as I can, that there's a bit of a gap between the very end of the nozzle and the knot. So when we stretch our nozzle out, there's this bit of a gap here. I'm hoping you guys can see that. What we're going to do is we're going to push this extra bit. So we're going to take that extra bit, okay? <laughs> and you can see the gap in between our, uh, what is our petals? Okay, our gap in our petals. I'm going to take, I'm hoping you guys can see this, I'm, I'll do it again. But what we're going to do is we're going to take that gap that stretchy bit, and we're going to push it all the way into the middle. Okay? All right, so I'll do that again for you guys. So we've got the gap between the end of the nozzle and the knot. We're stretching it up. And as we stretch it, we're pushing it in between 
You guys see that? We're going in between. We're going to go right in the middle. You should kind of hear it kind of pop in there. And then we should have something that looks like this. Um, so we do have a question of what are we making and they love the bunny. <laughs> more, more loving the bunny. Thank you. <laughs> so proud. We love marshmallow too. So thank you so much guys. Well, now that you can see it looking like this, are you able to tell me what we're making? Yeah, sorry. I didn't see that one until just now. <laughs> you guys, can you tell me what we're making? So not many guesses, but they're loving what we're doing loving anyway. What we're so. doing. Okay, so we, it, I'm hoping you can see it's a flower. Okay, we're hoping that's what you guys can see at this point. All right, so what we're going to do is my purple is now my flower stem. All right, so all flowers, they need some petals. So what I'm going to do is the same process that you guys have done so many times already today. Go to come down our, um, our stem. It, it really is up to you. It's personal preference of how far down the stem you go. But our holding hand is going to hold and squeeze. Our twisting hand is going to roll that long bit. And the same as we had so many times already today, we're going to fold it, hold it, squeeze it, and then twist. So that Ooh. same loop. Woo. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit close to the uh, mic, guys, for the pop. Okay, so try again. We're going to come down however far you like. Holding hand is holding and squeezing. Twisting hand rolls. So we've got that join. Again, we fold it. Not purple ones. Okay, right. Oh. You know, that's my fault because I didn't ask the balloon if it wanted to be a flower stem. So that's probably my fault. Would you like to be a flower stem? You would? Okay, let's do this. All right, so let's try we that have again. a question asking, is it a night and day flower? <laughs> um, honestly, I, I'll tell you the truth. I really couldn't tell you um, what sort of flower it is. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't garden, unfortunately. So you can make it whatever flower you like, I guess. So if you'd like it to be a day and night flower, we can certainly have that. All right. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. Folding that loop. <laughs> Fold and hold. Squish and twist. There we go. Yay! Ah, there we go. There we go. All right. So it was my fault for not asking the purple balloons. They didn't want to be a flower, obviously. Okay. So we've got one petal now. And then I'm going to put a second petal on. Now it's really up to you. You can put another petal in exactly the same spot. So you can join it here. So what you would do is you would fold into that same join and then twist that in, okay? Which would give you that kind of an effect, okay? Or if you prefer things a little bit more asymmetrical, which um, I normally do, you can come down a little bit further. So we're gonna get that nice long bubble like we did in the puppy dog. Fold, hold, Squish and twist, and now I have some leaves on the opposite directions. If you guys can see that, so now we've got different leaves at different spots. Fantastic! All right, so that's our flower. So, so far today, guys, you've made a belt, a sword, a dog. A flower. You're incredible. You're all going to put me out of a job. You're going to be the next round of balloon twisters. Okay. Oh, wow. We've only got a few minutes left. So let's get on to the most important part of today. That's our competition. We have a competition for you guys. Together with the Shire of Darden Up, 
What we're doing is we have some amazing prize packs um, that have been put together with all the, um, um, you know, social distancing and all the health and hygiene that we could possibly put in place. They're very, very safe. But there's some amazing prize packs. I believe that the Sheriff Darden might put some pictures up of them a bit later for you guys to have a look what you can win. And it's so easy to enter the competition. It's so easy. I'm going to show you how to make a balloon hat. And the competition is open to you guys to make the craziest balloon hat you possibly can. Take a photo, upload it to the iHeart Darden Up page and we'll be picking a winner within the next couple of days and then organizing those prizes to come out. All right, so we wanna see your photos. We wanna see the craziest balloon hat that you can make. All right, so we're gonna make the base of the balloon hat together so that you guys have got started and then I'll show you some variations and then it's gonna be over to you guys. It really will be. Okay, so let's make the base of our balloon hat. We need one more balloon. So let's start with another balloon. Uh, I think I've used almost all my colors today. Let's have a red one. I want a red one, I think. I have a red hat. Okay. Okay, so again, the same way. We've got about two fingers. Whoops. I've got balloons going all sorts of ways. We've got two fingers there. Perfect. We grab our balloon, like always and tie our knot and we all remember which end we start at i'm sure you do we all start at the knotty end. end awesome all right so here we go what you need is your balloon and you need your head make sure you have your head please make sure your head is still there <laughs> all right so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your balloon and you're going to wrap it around your head now i'll come as close as i can for you guys what we need is, see how we've got a bit of a gap, okay? So there's a bit of a crossover in our balloons. Can you guys see the, our, the cross we have in our balloons? Try and hold it differently if that helps. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we have a cross. Where that is, if you can use your holding hand and just hold that mark, okay? So put it around your head so that your balloon hat only ever fits you. This is a custom design balloon hat, okay? And then where our, where our, cro where our balloons cross over, you guys have done this before. Our holding hand holds and squishes and our twisting hand is gonna twist that loop. So it's a really big loop. Okay, so we should end up with something that looks like this. Okay. All right, so now there's two different things, two different ways we can go. You can actually leave your balloon like this if you want to, okay? Or we can take it to the next step. So if you want to leave it at that stage, you can, because then you have joining points at the top here um, and also onto the hat itself. So there are some options here. And again, this is going to be up to you guys to show us what you can come up with. If you're going to take it to the next step, what we're going to do, put both your hands on your long bit. I want you to give it a squeeze. All right, so you can see I gave that a really good squeeze. My tech advisor here is looking really scared, guys. <laughs> She's waiting for the pop. All right, so we've given it a good squeeze. And then what we're going to do is come to the very end. All right, and we're going to, again, our holding hand is going to hold and squeeze. And our twisting hand is going to twist. And we're going to twist just that little bubble at the end. Okay? Remember, don't let go. Yeah, don't let go. <laughs> don't let go. Okay, so we're going to put that at the end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the opposite end. So you can see the bubble we had at the beginning. And now we've got a bubble we're going to put at the end. And what we do with that bubble, and you guys, I'm hoping you can see this. We're just going to push it over and under. Can you see that? Under and over. Right, under and over. <laughs> I went back to front. Okay, so we just, where our join is, we're just going to push that under and then over the top. So we end up with two bubbles at the end. <coughs> Pardon me, guys, sorry. Dry throat. Okay, so, is it, grab a drink. Remember, stay hydrated. It's very important. Absolutely, balloon work is so hot and sweaty. 
Okay, so now we have our two joints and your hat will fit you. You can put it on sideways this way or you can put it on this way or remember you could leave the stick up at the front or the back as you want to. It's completely up to you. Okay, so that's the basics of your hat. What do we do with it now? Now I'm gonna show you guys some options, okay? So I'm gonna do this pretty quickly so we can just scoot through. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three balloons. Again, whoops, about those two fingers at the end. Apparently blue balloons do not like me today. Zadie says hello. Hey Zadie. Hello Zadie. So we've got one and two and bright and colourful for these hats too guys. We love bright and colourful. Use your imagination, see what you can do. Alright, so two and oh I found a black one. How about that? Three. Oops, on it goes. Woo! Okay, don't let go of your balloons. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> I think my poor technical advisor, I think she actually put a hole in the roof, guys. She jumps so much when I let that go. Okay, let's try that again. Come on. Okay, so now we have our three balloons. Oh, there we go. One, two, three. And what I'm going to do is I'm coming about halfway down my balloons, roughly. Holding hand holds and squeezes. Twisting hand twists them all around. Okay, so now I have something that could look a little bit like a jester's hat. And what we're going to do is we're going to feed our three bits through the top so you can see at the end there we'll bring that a bit closer for you okay and we're just going to push them through and give them a twist so they sit a little bit like that on our head okay now you don't have to have yours in the middle you could put it in the front on that front join you could put it at the back, at the back joint. <coughs> oh, me, again. All right, so you can add those to your hat. Now, the next thing you can do is I want to teach you guys very quickly how to do a butterfly. Oops. Okay. Now, you already know almost all of how to do this, guys. It's super easy. So... We start the same way that we have with our butterfly, with our, um, our flower and our uh, belt at the beginning. We start with our loop there. Okay, we're gonna come up, last time we came up about a third, this time we come up just about half. Twist that in. Okay, now last time we only brought the top down, which we're going to do, so we'll bring the top down. But this time, we're also going to bring the bottom up. So I know you guys will want to re-watch this video so you can see these bits of how to do the butterfly and maybe the rest of the hat. But we'll give, um, I know that the Sharadana will put that up and make it available to you guys in a little while. So this is our cute little butterfly. All right, so this is our cute little butterfly. And I'm going to use his tail. You can see his tail here. See his tail? Oops. See his tail? Yeah. I'm going to use his tail and I'm going to pull his tail in through the gap on my balloon. So now, we take a bit of a step back. I have a butterfly and I have my crazy hat at the top. And you guys know how to make a flower and you know how to make a puppy dog. So you'll be able to add those to it as well. And there's one last thing I want to show you. Just one. One more balloon. Okay. 
one more and this one might be a little bit more for the parents than the kids I'm not sure we'll see how we go all right so again we want to cross the ends give ourselves a, oh I got a hole hang on let's try that again without the hole it's a holy balloon holy balloon yeah holy balloons don't um Kylie says that looks amazing that's amazing <laughs> okay so here we go one more Give a bit of a squeeze and put quite enough air in. Okay, so we'll cross them over, same way we did before. And this time we're going to bring the whole bottom up. Uh, Linta and Wally, again, I apologise if I get them wrong, um, are saying thank you for the workshop. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. So this is our last little one. And if you're wondering what this is, some handcuffs. Alright, so kids, you can go and play, um, you know, cops and robbers, parents, um, I'm sure that you could use this at the end of the school holidays, um, <laughs> have lots of fun with it. Guys, I want to say a huge thank you um, to everyone for coming and being part of today. I want to say a massive thank you to Rachel and her team from the Shire of Darden up for having us. Um, I do want to plug next week with the school holiday programs. You guys have got to check this stuff out. It's going to be amazing. Um, I want to say a bit of a thank you to everyone else who's been part of the live programs and who've made this possible over the last few days. It's been so great to watch and we're so privileged to be part of it. You guys, you are champions. Thank you so much. You did such an amazing job. We hope you have so much fun. Don't forget about the competition. Don't forget to pop your balloons once you've finished and put them in the compost. Yeah, but pin them a bit and bin them or chuck them in your compost. Absolutely, don't litter. Um, wow, what else do we need to say? Take photos of your crazy hats. Don't forget to take photos, put them up, and we'll be announcing the competition winners very, very soon. All right, 